Right, now we're starting. All right, now we're starting. Let's go. S Dragonfly. Versus SD. SD. Robin versus Pokemon Trainer. I'm surprised I'm seeing the Robin, actually, because I know he's been a Chrom player for time. Um, he's been wanting to try Robin for a long time. What he's been doing? using Robin up until now as a secondary, but I've seen him use him more because there's, like, some matchups for, like, Chrom he doesn't yeah. particularly like, purely because of the recovery. Yeah. Um, like, recently when he'd been playing against Kazuya, like, for example, the grab, when he got thrown off. Yeah. And I reckon because, like, uh, Pokemon Trainer is just so, like, versatile, he doesn't want to be, like, dying at, like, well, Really, other percent, especially yeah. the war gun that um, Squirrel has. I mean, Ooh. I don't reckon this matchup's too bad, really. I just, I think the only problem is gonna be Squirtle, like being able to maneuver around his spells. Yeah, that's my main gripe. Well, I and mean, this is a problem as well because that's not a good recovery either. I know he doesn't like crumbs. Ooh, the Noz. And it's... what a lot of people don't know is that in a uh, in Smash Four, Dragonfly was a Robin main. Has he played him at all in this game? He played him a little bit, but he's definitely more on the Pokemon trainer in this game. But he yeah, was. Oh, that uh, was a yeah, but like, elf on Where are that's... you going? Where are you going? You're going to die for that. Uh, Good. Wait, wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, you deserve that. That was very silly. Nah, but yeah, but like, back to an earlier point, like, I think Robin's recovery is not even too bad. Like, you can mix it, it up quite it, it, uh, it's well. It's pretty dire. There's no hitbox above it. That, make, that makes for not a great recovery. I, I, it's not like one of the... It's not completely useless. Oh, it's not useless, but it's not a good recovery. Compared to, like, Crom's, it's still good. Yeah. Arcfire on the ledge is very scary because it's so hard to get around. You either have to try to jump and risk getting hit by it, or you roll, and then Robin just has a down smash ready for you, even yep. an F smash. But He's without any resources here, needs to try and hold, wait out a little bit. Oh wow, it's always gonna noz. I don't think he wants to go for anything risky here. But yeah. even even though Charizard's at 163, he's lost one of his most important resources up until then. Oh. Wow, that Nair went sent, sent nowhere, what the hell? I mean, I've seen Nair hit into itself before, so it makes up yeah. for it. That's true. And now this is the tough part, because now you've got Charizard at a very high percent. How do you confirm into anything here? Like he's, got, he's looking for an L Thunder kill. That's how bad it is, right? Nah, I think he he wants to. He's trying to like bait him into getting into like arc fire. A back throw. Or back throw. Yeah, I guess that works. And oh, I thought he didn't kill for a sec. All right, fair enough. Fair now, enough. I know he's been practicing a lot as well of his arc fire setups, specifically like when you do arc fire into arc fire. Yeah. There's like weird angles on it depending on your DI as far as I'm aware. So he's been trying to adapt to that pretty well as well. We've not seen it yet. But he has been trying. To, um, yeah, the big old that, hitbox. That was it is very large. Yeah, and this is sort of running away from there a little bit here. I've actually not, not seen much of Squirrel use. Like every time I've seen like twenty five percent done, it's S the Dragonfly just swaps over to Ivysaur. It's improving well so far. It's just taking advantage of uh, Robin's recovery. He's like, what can you really do up above? Like, what, try counter with an up air? And that's it. See, the, see, if you're maining a character with a sword, right, you need to be spacing your aerials better than this. It doesn't help that the bronze sword isn't exactly the best. Uh, like, sword. It's not exactly the best, but you definitely need to be making the most of it. And not to mention, he's getting rid of Levin. He, he's not actually using uh, Levin. He, he's sort of like, he's running out of Levin, and he's still running in anyway. I think there is a way to like swap between the swords, isn't there? There is, yeah. It like, depends I think on... it's depends on how you use your C stick, isn't it? Yeah. I feel like if he mixes that up a little, that will help him a lot. Because up until then, every time I saw the eleven sword come out, it's just yeah. always used to his death. It's gonna be interesting what happens on the ledge here. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a wake up side B. Nope. Oh, oh, wow, that just, kills. Just straight away. Straight away killed her. And he's got a full Thorn charge here as well. Now, I doubt he'll use much of that, but... You see how he's like trying to back away when recovering his own now? He just wants to be yeah. away from the Ivysaur down there. Yeah. See, now this is the time where I'd, I'd really like use the Thorn when you run at 11. I feel like he's trying to hold on to the last possible second. It does a decent amount of damage. But, and I mean, honestly, I'd use it. Because the thing is, like, you get it back very quickly. But with how Dragonfly is chasing him down, I feel like, you know, he's not really had much room to use it. Yeah, that's true. Oh, that was a good arc fire, though. 
He's gonna. It's gonna be around this point. Is it like? We no, don't have, oh. That's GG. That's GG. Is there no way to SD? No, it's oh, not. Sorry, DI it? Yeah, I was gonna say. I don't think it could. Oh. <gasps> he could have spiked. I thought oh he was gonna get spiked there. Doran, hello? He's gonna try to use it at this point. Yep. Nah, come on, bro. Hold on. He's gonna try like a down smash or something. Yep. He's playing too dangerous to you now. This is dangerous, though. It's been like five minutes. They're, they're so like close. This back right, could right. uh, Needs to. That's dead. That's definitely dead. Yeah. Uh, unfortunate. Surprised we didn't see an earlier throw. And right, there's some scores have already come in. I better go report those. I think they already reported them to Carnage. Fair enough. Right. Well, we saw a very close game between the SDs. Um, <coughs> With Dragonfire taking that first one, let's see what happens with game two. I reckon he's going to stick to Robin because that was... It nearly won it. It's just obviously Charles our kill power came through clutch in the end. Smash real interesting choice. Um, not sure how this is going to benefit Robin the huge deal. Maybe because of like, the platform being far from the ledge. Um, but I feel like this could benefit Pokemon Trainer as well because of the smaller blast zones, earlier kills. Eh, we'll see what happens. Hello, co-commentator. Sorry? They've chosen Smashville. Oh, okay. Cool. I was just saying before, like, I reckon it might be easier for Robin when he's at the ledge. But for a Pokemon trainer, he's, he's going to get earlier kills. Yeah. So I'm interested in this choice. See, I, I find it really strange that he was he approaches with Robin at the start, right? Because you don't get Levin to begin with. Oh. I feel like it's like just a sort of element of surprise. We're going to just completely yeah. forget that happened. So he's got an, he fully charged the Thoron again. And I, you don't really see that very often, right? I think he's just trying to save it to the last possible moment. Yeah. Like, that's so much. Oh my god. Come on, bro. Yeah, it looks like he was a little thrown off by that. I would just. Start. I would, if it was me, I would just use it. Get the get the tone back. Well, the thing is, it's because Squirtle's really evasive and tiny that, you know, of all the three Pokemon, he's going to be the hardest to hit. I think he's trying to set it up with an arc fire. Yeah. Yeah, Can't set up with arc fire. fire if it's not there. Ooh. Oh, is that? Ooh. Oh, that's it. Yeah, Jesus. That's little stage five from, oh. Yeah. I, I, oh, okay, I, now, I, yeah. now I see why he's doing it. He's trying to get rid of it so he can set up for like, um, the other Thunders, the, uh, Park Thunders. Yeah, it had no Levin to use there, though. I like his usage of the down B. Yeah, yeah he's, he, he's using it correctly like a command grab, so... This could be a three stock, you know. You never know. Oh, you see there what I mean with like the, the yeah. arc fire. He's trying to go for the setups. Right, he's got no wind time, so he needs to be real careful right about now. F Smash could do it. Yeah, yep. that F Smash is going to do it. Jesus, a nice a little three stock. So... Huh. Looks like, uh, I reckon Dragonfire is going to try to go for a stage, which gives him more movement, because that one there did not give him room to breathe whatsoever. And you'd think Robin was the one that um, wouldn't have much room there, but he managed to maneuver around the platform very well to get those uh, get those arc fires in. What stage is they picking? I think it's C. Well, they're choosing Song, so I'm going to choose it's... I'm going to get some of the default ones. Uh, small battlefield. Okay, very balanced stage for the two of them. Sticking the rod and best Pokemon train. I respect that. I respect it. They've gone. Uh, they've gone small battlefield. As we speak, cool, there's cool, cool, quite a few people behind yeah. them. They're really inter interested in this set. I guess it happens a lot though early sets, doesn't it? Well, I mean, this was a weird one, right? Because this there was an SD right at the start, and that kind of set the space, set the pace for the game. So ultimately, it's down to the uh, honestly, whoever takes the first stock is going to be in a great spot here. I feel like if uh, SD keeps up his momentum from the last game, he's he has a good chance of this one. Yeah. But as we all know, Pokemon Train is very good at adapting different playstyles simply because. Damn, that was a really well placed up there from Robin. You see, they're now playing much more defensive. Yeah. They're trying to keep space as far as they can or just hold and shield as much as they can. Down front up isn't true anymore, is it? 
Uh, it can be. Oh, we grabbed him from behind. That means that they're alone more damage. Where, where are you going? Really? That changes depending on if you go behind. Yeah. Yeah. yeah if, it hit, if you grab him from behind, it does more damage. And, oh, and nice. saps more. Does it um, heal more? Yeah. Up smash? Ooh. Yep. Ooh. That's really he's good. Got, like, he's got those, huh? When the arc fire builds damage, the up smash also just comes through of like, what, yeah. 20, 30? Nice little catch there. Nice Jesus. little 50 Look, that's 50, 59 just like that. You see what I mean? Like, uh, he, he wasn't confident in the crumbs, so he just goes for yeah. this little catch set. And his setups are paying off very much so. He's a whole stock ahead. I also like the item play he does with um, any discarded weapons yeah. he has. Like, I've seen him stage spike with it before. That fire breath does I'm not work. sure about these weak thunders, but... Uh, it's just to kind of try to create distance, yeah. really, like, while he thinks of a game. He's kept like, his jump, I think. Yeah. Even then, I think he would have been able to survive that one, just very barely. Up throw. Back throw might be no it. I don't think, because up throw is more like just a kill, and that wasn't a kill. Ooh, I thought he was going to go for just an F smash there. Oh, that up smash nearly connected, not quite, though. You know, I've been watching this thing, forgetting that they're not on even stocks right now. Yeah. Back throw. Oh, I like his aerial items. gameplay. He's been, like, you know, forcing and approaches he here. He's full throw on again, and Dragonfly, two stocks down here. You know, the big deficit on SD's life here. But Ooh. He's going to get try and use as much as he can on this stock before he loses it. You notice how his gameplay changed from game one, where the down airs would catch him so early. Yeah. And now he's going for arc fight. Yeah, to good edge guard there by else. Dragonfly. Good edge guard there. But he's got it's a lot to make back here. And Robin is a scary character. That's the arc thunder to cover the approach. He's just messing around in the air here. Like he doesn't really want to like commit. He's trying to force. Yeah. Um, no, SD's, playing, playing, yeah. Yeah. SD's playing a very evasive game, as he needs to. There's going to be a lot of arc fires here. Oh, oh, good clank. Back air strings doing a More decent amount of damage. Ooh. Uh, now, hang on. A raw ref smash. It could be a down hit. <gasps> oh, I thought he was spiked. Doing a good job here is Dragonfly. He's managed to hold his ground so far. But we've got a full door on. On deck. I reckon he's just going to let it rip. It would be the wise thing to do. But he's nicking damage. I reckon that could have shield broken or even shield poked if he did there. Yeah. And there goes the Thunder Tome. Very uncomfortable position right now for Dragon's Oh, oh my god. Damn, very oh, nice the forward air takes that there. one. 2 That's 1 to be SD. 2 1 to SD. Good stuff to him. All right. Nicely done there. Is Robin looking not terrible? Yeah, no, I told you, like, for a long time he was trying to swap off Grom, yeah. so good choice. Not bad, not bad, not bad. <laughs>